हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल लैपटेक वर्ल्ड माय सेल्फ किशोर वाघानी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द रिसेंट एडवर्टाइजमेंट फॉर द पोस्ट ऑफ लैब टेक्नीशियन गिवन बाय द ओ एस 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 सी दैट इज उड़ीसा सब ऑर्डिनेट स्टाफ सिलेक्शन कमीशन फॉर अबाउट वन थाउजेंड नंबर ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक एडर लैब टेक्नीशियन इन वेरियस सी डी एम्स पी एच ओस एंड मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल्स अंडर द हेल्थ एंड फेमिली वेलफेयर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ उड़ीसा In this video, we are going to discuss various aspects of this recruitment. That is, details of the post, pay scales of this post, age limit, education and other qualification. How can you apply for this post? What is going to be plan of the examination, syllabus, and many more. Before starting the detailed discussion of this advertisement, I would like to request if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe my channel, Lab Tech World, and press the bell icon to enable all notifications. for my next upcoming videos because in this channel i am regularly uploading the videos of mcqs previous year question papers and notifications of various recruitment for the post of lab technician that is going to be very helpful for those who are preparing for the government job in the various states for the post of lab technician let's start the discussion of this advertisement first of all you have to remember the important dates for this recruitment interested candidates who wants to apply for this post have to register or re-register themselves on the official website of OSSC that is www.ossc.gov.in between 1st of the December to 25th, 21st of the December and the last date of the submission of their online application it is 25th of the December so on or before 25th of the December you have to submit your online application to be eligible for the post of lab technician let's have a look over the other aspects of this recruitment first that is details of the post to be filled up here vacancies are for the post of district cadre of lab technician district cadre means a candidate after being selected will be posted and transferred within the district and second the number of the post to be filled up on the basis of this recruitment may undergo change without any prior notice so this is the details about the post to be filled up second scale of pay and condition of service here the appointments to the post shall be made initially on the contractual basis on consolidated monthly remuneration of 9500 after and then will be considered for the regularization as per the odisha group c and group d post rules 2013 that is pay scale pay matrix level 7 cell 1 will be as per the pay matrix level 7 third point is eligibility criteria and in this point we will discuss about the age and educational qualification and other eligibility criteria first have a look over the age and educational qualification a candidate must have attained the age of 21 years and must not be above the age of 32 years on the date of advertisement as well as the in second point upper age limit is relaxed by 5 years for the candidates belonging to the SC ST and SC BC and women category as well as upper age limit is also relaxed by the ex servicemen as per the rules and for 10 years it is relaxed by the persons with disabilities as shown in point number 4 in point number 5 candidates belong coming from the odisha group c and group d post rules 2013 shall shall also be eligible for age relaxation of the up to the age of 45 years and last the upper age limit of for contractual laboratory technician under the odisha state health and family welfare society scheme will also be offered the age relaxation of the 45 years of the age on the date of advertisement and next the date of the birth as recorded in hssc certificate issued by the board of secondary education odisha or equivalent certificate issued by the recognized board council or indian university shall be accepted only let's have a look over the educational qualification in order to be eligible the candidate must have passed his his or her 
higher secondary educations from Odisha or equivalent and passed diploma in medical laboratory technology from government, medical college and hospitals of the state and other private institutions recognized by the government of Odisha or All India Council of Technical, technical Education. If any candidates has obtained higher qualifications like BMLT or MLT, they shall also be eligible to apply for this post. In addition to this, they must have registered their names in Laboratory Technician Council in the state and have possessed valid registration certificate as on the date of advertisement. And in addition to all this, a candidate must be able to speak, read and write ODIA and have a pass the middle school examination with ODIA as a language subject or passed matriculation or equivalent examination with ODIA as medium of examination in non-language subject or passed ODIA as a language subject in the final examination of class 7 or above from the school or ed educational institution recognized by the government of Odisha or central government or passed a test in Odia in ME a school standard conducted by the school and mass education department. So it, all of these are the educational qualification candidates who are fulfilling all these qualifications can apply for this post. Then now let's have a look over the other eligibility criteria. An applicant in order to be eligible for the post must be a citizen of India of a good character if married must not have more than one spouse living and for the sportsmen must possess identity card issued by the sports and youth service department government of Odisha as on the date of application and the persons with disability must have ensured that they have possessed the permanent disability certificate or belonging to the category or subcategory of the disability for which the post has been reserved. Now have a look over the fourth point that is examination fees. Here you do not have to pay any examination fees to be appeared for the written examination for this post. So it is free of cost. Then point number five, last date of the receipt of the application as we have discussed earlier it is 25th of the December. So you have to submit your online application on or before 25th of the December to be appeared for the written examination. For that, how will you apply online? First you have to register or re-register if you have already registered on official website of OSCC that is www.oscc.gov.in then you have to follow the instruction step by step to register your application. For that you have to you must have scanned copy of your signature in JPG, JPEG or PNG format of about 20 to 50 KBs and scanned photograph of JPG, JPEG and PNG format of about 20 to 100 KBs to be uploaded in the online application with other details that is educational, educational qualification and basic qualifications basic details then original certificate or documents to be produced during verification here a list of the certificate is given from 1 to 8 that is need to be produced during your verification after passing the written examination here certificates number 1 to 8 is given that is maybe different for the different categories you can read all these documents then Point number 8, place and date of written examination. The recruitment examination shall be held in all the districts. Date, time and venue of the examination will be intimated to the all eligible candidates through the admission letter to be issued online in due course from a specific date to be noticed in the said website later. Then admission letter, provisional admission letters containing Intimation about the date, time and venue for written examination shall be uploaded on the commissioner's website that is official website of OSSC well ahead of the date of examination. So you have to visit regularly the website www.ossc.gov.in for 
more next updates let's have a look over the next point of this recruitment point number 10 plan of the examination there shall be a written examination for 100 marks consist of 100 mcqs types in omr system and the weightage of different subjects is given over here is here 60 questions will be related to the subject as per the syllabus of diploma in medical laboratory technology whereas 25 questions are based on the practical skill to assess the real practical skill of the candidates and 10 questions will be related to the arithmetic of 12 standard and in last 5 questions will be related to the English grammar of 12 standard so it will be totally make up of 100 MCQs and 100 marks of this question paper. Now the minimum qualifying marks for SCST, PWD, X servicemen and sports candidate shall be 30% and the minimum qualifying marks for the candidates other than the SCST, PWD, X servicemen and sports candidate will, shall be 35%. Now talking about the syllabus of this examination, the syllabus of this examination will be as per the syllabus of Diploma in Medical Laboratory Technology and there shall also be a negative marking in this examination so 0.25 marks will be deducted per each wrong answering or multiple answering so keep in mind this negative marking while attempting any questions for which you are not pretty much sure about the correct answer so it is better to leave the questions that you are not knowing the answers then next point is selection list a provisional single merit list of all candidates shall be prepared in order of merit on the basis of some total of marks secured by the candidate in the written ex examination and the marks awarded for the contractual co work experience if any as per the Odisha group C and group D post rules 2013 so it is combined single merit list will be prepared and it will be uploaded on the official website you have to visit after the examination and talking about the result of this examination the provisional result will be published on the commission's website that is www.ossc.goe.in and after that verification will be done on the basis of verification final select list of selected candidates will be made and the final result will be declared on the same website for that you have to visit the official website for regular days and in last one annex is also given there that gives the detailed information of vacancies that are available in different district for different categories that will be very helpful in selecting your preference of district in your online application so once you have to look into this annex before submitting your online application that's all for the today. Thank you for watching the video. Like and share my videos. If you like my work, then like and share my videos with your friends. Thank you. Thank you very much.